Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So happy Black Friday. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates Thanksgiving. I'm really, really happy that we are in the holiday season. We're all in the holiday spirit. And that means that companies are starting to lower their prices, starting to give us discounts. And today we're gonna see how Black Friday shopping is like in store versus online. At the end of the video, you'll see what my final thoughts are. I know this is really silly, but this is the first time I'm filming with my ring light. I am so excited. I'll leave a link down below to the ring light I'm using. It wasn't super expensive. I also hope that you guys like the look of it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and today is Friday, so you get a new video. So let's just jump straight into it. So I woke up very early this morning and I went down with my boyfriend to the Glendale Galleria if you live in Los Angeles. It's right next to the Americana at Brand. We went there this morning to really try and see what deals we can find. If there are any good deals, is it better to just stay home and shop online? Are the malls still packed? The first place we stopped by was H&M. The thing is with me, H&M always has like either good stuff or terrible stuff. There's times where I'll go into H&M and I'm like, wow, H&M is honestly game-changing business. They just have like the best clothes and it's amazing and everything fits really well. And then there's other times where I literally will look through every single piece and I'm just like, Oh, either the quality is really there or like it's really not. Um, I will say that the items that I looked for were really expensive and I know 30% off of like $49.99 or $50 may be a steal. And then I would look through the coats and stuff too and I just felt like the coats were all $100 and it was just a lot of money for something that didn't feel so great. Not as cute on. I don't know, I'm not digging the style. I feel like it makes me look way bigger than I need to. I wish like the slit maybe came up a little bit higher. This area is cute, but I don't know. It just makes me look a lot bigger. And it's kind of a thick material, so tucking it in would just be a mess. Um, I felt like if you were gonna get a coat, you might as well get one from Shein or Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo or Misguided. Like those sites have really good deals going on right now. They're 60% off, 50% off, 40% off, way better than H&M, which is only 30% off. So a part of me just felt like these huge companies that are already like similarly priced to the online brands, like I just mentioned, are really not giving us the best sales and not the best deals. Then we went into Forever 21. My relationship towards Forever 21 is, I think that if you wanna try out a trend um, and you don't really wanna spend the money, Forever 21 is a really great place to shop. Personally, the sizing is what's really tough for me at Forever 21 because I, like I've mentioned before, I have a larger bust, but I still fit a size small to medium. But most of the times when I go into Forever 21, I'll always have to wear a large, which is good because it fits my chest area well, but then maybe the sleeves are too long or everything else is super long. So the fit for me at Forever 21 is always my issue. But what I was really impressed with at Forever 21 was everything was super clean, but I really appreciated how everything was organized and folded down and it was a really good shopping experience at Forever 21. So we just went to Forever 21 and now we're headed over to the other side of the mall. Shopping online is always a little bit different than shopping in store and one of the best things about shopping in store is that you get to like um, yeah try it on you get to see what it looks like what it feels like and all that kind of stuff um, but I will say that it is kind of more draining um, and it's not as like, it's hard on your feet and your arms and your hands and probably your boyfriend too if he's carrying everything for you. <laughs> we walked into Victoria's Secret because that's the first store that you'll see and this is my first, that was my first time being back at Victoria's Secret since I had left the company. And I will say, I forgot how crazy Victoria's Secret gets during the holidays. Um, it's nice to not be a part of that. Like, it's nice to just not stress about all of those things and I saw the panty bar and it started giving me anxiety again. Like, it was, I mean, I loved, I loved retail. I loved Victoria's Secret. But personally, it was just seeing that store, I was like, woo, like, 
I do not miss that. Um, there was the line was so long. Oh my goodness. The thing is, it was really hard to find stuff at Victoria's Secret because I feel like those types of experiences are supposed to be very like one on one, very personal. Again, it's Black Friday. You could do those any other days. But when you're at the mall for other reasons, because it's Black Friday, you would hope you would still kind of get that strong, memorable experience, that really intimate experience. Maybe that's kind of lost because it's so crazy and chaotic. Wanted to purchase maybe a sleep set from Victoria's Secret, but that was kind of hard to find too because like packages were already open. Let's move on to the next store. Um, I went into Uniqlo just to take a break. And then Justin and I, we decided to just continue to walk down all the way to Bloomingdale's because we thought, hey, Bloomingdale's is a department store. They should probably have some pretty good deals. Louis Vuitton is having a Black Friday sale, but they're not. This, the Nile, pretty sure that's what it's called. Or, ooh, take 30% off for Chloe. Or that one that's really cute. Or the backpack. Oh, the backpack is super cute too. That is so cute. To be honest, I think that more specific stores, like an actual store, not like a department store, does more specific deals and it's easier to shop. We went into Bloomingdale's and we like looked at stuff and we were like, what are we looking at? You know what I mean? Like you walk into a store and you're just like, why am I here? And I don't know, like maybe it's the mall, but I get so exhausted. Like the mall just makes me so exhausted, honestly. The only reason why I would go to the mall in 2018 is just to eat like Wetzel's pretzels or like Cinnabon. I think shopping in the mall, the only benefit that you get from that is being able to try things on, but Black Friday is not a time to try things on. If you don't like all that, like if you don't like all of that, like woo, like let's go shop and all that kind of stuff, then it's a little bit like pump the brakes, Give me a minute, I need, to, I need to go outside and take a breather because this is getting a little too much. My entire Black Friday experience is like, if you don't have a list, like very specific items that you want and that you are looking for, then you probably shouldn't even think about stepping foot out of your house. Just stay home because if you want some time to like browse and look around, Maybe, I think, in my personal opinion, I think shopping online is a better option. The thing is, you've got so many reviews, you've got so many different like tutorials or videos of products. Now, we're gonna see what Black Friday orders I made this weekend. So, I got a pair of boots from Zara. Zara was doing 30% off, and these boots, I was like, I know I want you. I don't think I need to try you on and fight people for your size and stuff. So I'm just gonna place an order online. It hasn't arrived yet, but I will do like a full on Black Friday haul um, when everything comes in. I went into the Gap website. I saw these two items and tell me what you guys think of this like Gap Gucci inspired belt. It's like this logo branded belt. And I just thought it was kind of cute. I don't know. It kind of gives me like a vintage vibe. It also wasn't super duper expensive. I also got this Sherpa biker jacket. The entire Gap store was 50% off, which was amazing. Um, the next thing I got was from Wish Trend. You guys know I love Wish Trend. Um, I think that Korean skincare needs to become more accessible in the US, but it's really hard because most products are either labeled in Korean or it's just you don't know how to use all of the amazing products and um, you don't know what products you need for your skin type. So Wish Trend is an amazing website to shop because Wish Trend gives you all of the resources on their website. They have video tutorials on a YouTube channel. They teach you so many different things about ingredients and products and how to pop pimples properly, all that kind of stuff. Like their website is such a resource to me, especially being Korean American. Like I want to use Korean skincare, but there are certain two things that are not my shade or not my like I don't I don't personally even understand what they're saying so it's nice to have like almost a Korean skincare brand that's really targeted to the Western American market I'll review everything later when I get it but 
The next thing I got was from Gizu, Megan's company. Um, she's also a YouTuber slash Instagram influencer who started a company from her like bee farm at home. And um, I just decided to get the hair perfume. I really love the smell of honey and anything that's honey extract or honey anything. I placed a Shein order. I'm planning on doing a haul. Everything's supposed to come in today and I wanna do a haul. So if you guys want a separate Shein video, then let me know. Um, the next thing I got was Juno & Co. Um, the Velvet Fiber. Um, beauty blender. I have just seen so many people rave about it. I've seen the Juno challenge and um, I did get one of those and I know that they're doing a sale right now so that was amazing. I got a lot of stuff from the body shop when I went to their store recently. They just gave me a ton of great items. I might just show you guys everything that I love from the body shop and my favorite products. I'm really excited about this because Tony Savdalis has been like a huge YouTube influencer in my life and like she probably doesn't even know it but I love her like I love her channel I love everything that she talks about and like she just finds gems and she has a jewelry company called CNC Luxury and I just purchased my first two items from the CNC collection um, I got a bangle and a necklace which I'm really excited for that to come in so I'll show you guys when that comes in as well those are all of the Black Friday orders that I made. I feel like I got so much more success shopping online than I did in store. The thing is, like, I, I think that it's important that stores exist and stores are there so that people can have that special experience and come and shop and hang out. But I think that now in 2018, we don't need to go into a store to know what we want. Personally, I love shopping online. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's actually becoming a really like bad problem because I'm like so obsessed with online shopping. I'm thinking about like starting to like sell my clothes, but I don't really know how to do that like on Depop and stuff. And like, I've seen a lot of girls do that before and I really want to, but I don't know exactly like how that works. So let me know if you guys would be interested if I created like a Depop account or a Poshmark account. Um, I've heard of those two before but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving with your families yesterday um, I know I did and we just had such a good time if you aren't following me already on Instagram and snapchat and Twitter please go ahead and follow me there you'll see more outfits more fun more stuff that I'm doing all that good stuff so definitely follow me there if you haven't subscribed like I said don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel I haven't picked anybody yet for the bra video so if that's something you guys still want me to do I'm happy to fit one of you guys for a bra, take you guys out to Victoria's Secret or any other place, and then maybe fit you guys and find a great bra for you. I'll leave a link down below to the video where I explained all of the rules to that, but it's still something that I wanted to do. That is everything that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That definitely helps me out, and I will see you guys all in Monday's video. Bye!